Hi, I'm Allison Dubois. Welcome to Allison and Tom Take on the Universe. <laughs> no small deed. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about owning who you are and some, so, sometimes people try to fit in in life and instead of fitting in, maybe own that you were born to stand out. So, Tom, you know, we meet a lot of young people who really try to fit in. I know that we've been there, too, as children, and I wish I had somebody like you when I was a little girl to tell me that, you know, sometimes you're born to stand out, not to fit in with the rest of the crowd, especially in school. You know, your parents want you to assimilate. They look at whose birthday parties you're invited to. Yes. It's a very uh, big deal in the social world as to if their child fits in. And I think what parents don't usually teach their children is that it's okay for you to be an individual, that you don't necessarily have to be part of the crowd. What were some of your experiences? Well, as an astrologer, when I'm looking at charts, there are certain people that come in almost with an alienation crisis, like they don't fit in at all, no matter what. They want to and feel they don't. And that actually is an Aquarian situation in astrology and the planet that rules Aquarius, which is Uranus. And so Uranus, anytime those signatures are strong in someone's birth chart, they're gonna come in with a sense of, I so wanna belong, especially in school, like you talked about. Yes. And then always feel like they don't. And uh, they don't know what group to belong to because they're trying to find that place. And they can go through life that way. Now, you know, you are an Aquarian. Mm -hmm. And so you, you will have that, obviously. But Alice and I have two signatures, both in our birth charts, that are very similar, that make that even stronger. And that is the planet Uranus is in our house of identity. So right away, that's a huge dynamic of feeling like I'm different from everybody. And, um, and I went through my life trying to figure out how I fit it in, or fit it in, fit in. Um, and being a Libra, a Libra sun sign, I'm supposed to please other people, so I have to figure out what they want so I'm liked on top of it. It was a tough journey. <laughs> you know, it was a tough journey. I mean, I, as a child, I had bright red hair. So I had my mom's side with the Scottish, um, French, German influence, and then my father was Hispanic, so I have these black eyes and dimples and, and freckles, and I was just like this odd-looking little thing. And so I, of course, had to go to school and make myself even stranger oh, by carrying an attache case and wearing penny loafers, <laughs> knee-high socks, and culottes, and that really hot Gloria Vanderbilt yeah. built a V-neck sweater back in the 80s. Oh my God, that's so, so I just didn't know that my standing out the way I was, at least I was being true to myself. I have to look at the little Allison that I was. I wore roller skates everywhere. I wouldn't go to the movies without my skates on. I was just, not just owning being odd, it's all I could be. Right. <laughs> and so people go, oh, you're so weird. And I, I took that as I'm not like them. I just wish that people out there that are watching this, especially people who have little Aquarian children, explain to them that their oddities, their, their little um, characteristics that make them so different are magical and fantastic. And you shouldn't be anybody but who you are. Don't try and fit in. You're wasting your time. Uh, here's me trying to fit in. Right. Not so good, <laughs> right, yeah, still. Yeah. But as an adult, yeah. it's different when you, know, you own your uniqueness. By the time you get to my age, <laughs> um, you start accumulating friends who are different. That's how also, we have it, That's yes. how we became very good friends, very close. And so now all of my friends are incredibly unique people who also never felt like they fit in. Yeah. But they became incredibly successful in their fields. And so for all of you that don't feel like you can vibe with the most people, that's okay. The older you get, the more you're going to draw in unique, uh, funny, people like yourself, and then you're gonna look around at the people that you went to junior high and high school with and say, well, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you know? and that's the goal, yeah. the, the goal of graduating from the school of I don't care what other people think, I'm my, my own unique being, essentially. And you know, I went up to about my mid 40s before you know, I, I consciously realized I'm trying to fit in and please other people and figure out who I am, and it reversed like 180 degrees. And being the eccentric, 
um, wanting to fit in never works. And what it does work is even as an astrologer, I wouldn't tell people I was an astrologer. So what, what changed was that being in charge of being the eccentric was a lot more fun. And so now when I go out in the world and if I'm sitting on a plane and someone goes, so what do you do? And I go, I'm an astrologer. I have a blast watching the reaction because it's, <laughs> it's unknown. I never know. And I don't care what the reaction is, but it's entertaining me rather than I'm fearing it. And so, you know, in that regard, you look at yourself and there are people who have the planet Uranus born in their fourth house of home. They come in feeling like they don't even belong to their family. That is, that does happen. That's hard. Yes, that's hard. <laughs> Aquarians by nature don't feel like they fit in with their families. And yes. I totally yes. share that sentiment. I exactly. get that. Um, I was the kid in the household where my brother would go hunting and my stepdad went hunting and everything was so gamey and onions and mushrooms and I was like e I was like I just want a peanut butter sandwich <laughs> I feel like really simple I'm like looking at the people that I was born into this family not understanding why I didn't like the same things that they liked right. why my mother and my brother seemed on the same page and I never did it, I mean it's something that as a child you have trouble processing and understanding I think it takes until your 30s. For me, it took into my 30s to where I finally just started saying to people, I don't care. <laughs> They're right. like, I don't like that you did that. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, if you care about everybody's opinion of you, then you're going to get bogged down in, uh, in becoming who they want you to be instead of really owning who you are. And at the end of the day, we all die. And those people's <laughs> opinion of you really didn't they, matter. They don't matter at all, so no. <laughs> whether you get like one like or 800 likes on Facebook is no gauge of you as a person and, and how accepted you are. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people look at social media as a way to uh, gauge their popularity or their likability. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean you're all that likable necessarily. It just means you have like-minded people on your site Mm -hmm. And you better like their pictures too. Right. <laughs> you know? right. So I encourage people to, rather than caring about what everybody else, uh, what their opinion of you is, go out and grow as a person. Figure out who you are and engage with those that you vibe with. Instead of trying to be friends and surround yourself with many who you don't really vibe with, but you all pretend to be friends, and we've seen right. that. Um, instead of doing that, find those three friends that you vibe with and do yes. everything with them. It's not numbers, it's not quantity, it's quality, as yes. they always say. And being different is an advantage in life. Everybody can be general in population or, you know, uh, average. Why would you want to be average? And I, you know, still look back at my childhood and, and wishing I had, you know, known that it was okay mm -hmm. to be different. So I'm really glad that we're doing this segment for people who have children, grandchildren, right. or are still discovering themselves so that you embrace your quirkiness, your weirdness. It's what makes you different. You like superhero movies? None of them ever felt like they fit in. Yeah. So wouldn't that make you kind of cool too? I call them the misfit toys. <laughs> so you know, if you find yourself attracted to those that feel different in their life, that's your, that's your tribe. But at, at the end of the day, you're really your own tribe by yourself. And you've got to figure out what that is and, and not worry about how you're supposed to fit into somebody else's. And the more you do take choices and take action into the individual things that define you specifically, the stronger and the more powerful you become in those gifts. That's very true. So um, take it from two oddballs <laughs> that did all right in life For sure. and, and that really embrace who we are. Thank you for watching Allison and Tom Take on the Universe. Please like and subscribe.